Hello again YouTube, it's me, Sam Saibuf, and welcome back to Emporium, episode 7000, most likely. And right now what we got is a DGN event. And what? Wait, no, it's called Sands of Oblivion, sorry. I was thinking of the uni game. Find the lamps which imprison the powerful DGN. Free them, and they will fight by your side. You can also spend your mana to require to recruit their Irith servants. And as you can see, I've already been playing this for a little bit. And I'm sorry I missed out on the intro this time. I was really tired last night. I was going to record the intro like I normally do. Like how I do with the werewolf event. But yeah. I screwed up this time. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry as if y'all cared about this game yet. I think I like it. I don't. I don't know. I just. I just know I love this game. I like it. Okay. I have 0.4 CP. I am currently trying to collect one more magic lamp, and I need to make 250 mana, as you know. Like yeah. If I do this, my nose is itchy. Sorry. I need to get 20 gems, and as you know, my gems have sparked up high from when you last saw me. If you watched the video, of course. But yeah, if you're new to this, we are an elven race right now. I have five Ifrit, Ifrit, however you pronounce them, I don't freaking know, okay? But yeah, Sands of Oblivion, blah, 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 blah. And then get awards, just like a World Wolf event, just like any other event. Click on details. You, all you need to do is spend 400 mana to get an Ifrit. <clears throat> I don't know how good they are. I just know I like them because you don't have to spend the magic lamps for them. You don't have to rub them out of it as hard as you do a DJ. A DJ needs like, hang on, let me go to the shop. Uh, me being stupid. You need 12 magic lamps. As you can see, there's like nothing of interest here to me. I'm fully for like damage. I love damage. This event sucks ass, but the main thing I like is the Ifrits and the runes here. I might go for the spell, I don't know, but that's 45. Thousand damage. Wait, no. Yeah, that's 45,000. Okay, I'm right. I'm not stupid. Oh, I have four now. Oh, what just happened? Oh, wait, yeah, I had one from earlier. Sorry, guys. I was overhyping it. I was overhyping it. <laughs> but yeah, my, uh,. Area of location has improved greatly. It is much better than I once was. Wait, like, did I just attack a medium without thinking? I did not want to attack a medium. Holy crap. I meant to attack these. Oh. I think I attacked it because I thought it was one of these and it had stone. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on attacking this one because it's gold and you get, and you know I'm going to click it again, you get 250 points to a magic lamp for attacking them. For the medium ones, it's shit. Just attack the, these, they're just as good. Like, and they're just as weak. And as long as you got attack of 40. Okay. And they have another special offer. This offer isn't as good though. This offer is complete shit. In my opinion, and there's an eye right there for your appealing of eyes, okay? Hello, brave warrior. I know you can handle yourself, but I bet you won't mind this special offer for me. 250 gems for 99 cents. You get two free magic lamps, which is okay, and you get one eye for it, which is pure shit. Unless you're not good at mana like me. I make a ton of mana because I'm a rich, rich wizard. Yeah. Necromant. Oh, I had that last game, didn't I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does damage. I am happy. I'm pretty sure I had that last game. Oh, but wait. Effect experience bonus. Oh. Oh. Necromant C fire resist damage. Is it really worth it? Yes, because it's a legendary. Plus, I get more damage with it. I can see it's bonus for some damage, okay? Experience isn't that big of a deal for me when you're as good as the game at the game as I am. I'm kidding, by the way. I suck at this game, but I love it. I am slowly improving. Do not worry. I will become good at this game one day. But today is not the day. I have a few more things I want to show you real quick. Now, what they've changed 
in the new patch. Uh, achievements. This is what one of the few things I did change, is which is pretty cool. Anyone that has been playing the game, the game's been out for a very long time, for Steam. Uh, if you have unlocked achievements, you get gems for achievements now instead of just achievement points. So now, each time you can play an achievement, you get gems for it. One star is one gem, two star is two gems, three star is like uh, five gems. But other than that, it depends on the achievement. Because as you can see right here with Elfish Ragnarok, it's five gems for level one. Then for these, it's all the same, as you can tell. But yeah, victory, that's for winning. So yeah, that's a little hard unless you're in the best alliance in the fucking game, okay? And I got my third magic lamp just now. How awesome is that? And I got a sword. And as you can see, you have a sexy elf babe right there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Give me it and give me my new quest. Find an artifact in neutral camps. As if that was hard. And you'll receive two rooms. Experience bonus for 72 hours and 500 experience points. Oh, my. That's amazing. I'm collecting gold right now because I'm a beast. Yeah. Okay, while well, that continues, I... Who the fuck is calling me? Oh. Oh, hello. Hello? Yeah. Uh, uh sh sure, I'll go in a bit. Now, hang on, I'll go ahead and get everything set up, alright? Yeah. See you in a bit. Alright, bye-bye. Well then, guys, this episode's gonna be cut short. It was, uh, fun being here for a while. When I come back, I'ma continue, but for now, this might be the outro. As you can tell, I got a level 3 room, and I didn't expect to get a phone call during this, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Subtitle, and I'll catch you